Hey guys, what is going on? This is Chris from Techbeard again, and I'm very excited today because I finally got my hands on the elusive Ryzen 5 5600X. Have it right here. Uh, and today we're actually going to swap out my old CPU that was the Ryzen 5 2600 for this bad boy, and we'll do a small comparison at the end. So let's begin. So before I show you the install, I made a huge mistake uh, before I show you what happened. Um, so what I did, swapped out the CPU, I ended up forgetting to update the BIOS <laughs> for my motherboard to um, actually be able to work with the new Ryzen 5000 series. So stupid me, I installed it, ended up trying to flash the BIOS after I installed it, ended up having some major issues. <laughs> um, I actually ended up having to reach out to ASUS support. Um, I actually have the B550F Gaming uh, from ASUS. So had to reach out to them after that. Uh, I ended up actually swapping the CPU back to the old one, the 2600. Um, and after they reached out to me, I ended up updating the BIOS. That was all good. And then something got reconfigured when I updated the BIOS. Um, it ended up actually disabling the CSM or the compatibility support module. So it turned that off uh, and that was creating some major issues because it wasn't reading my drives that I had Windows installed on. So after a few days and a couple of emails back and forth with ASUS support, ended up fixing the problem. So don't do what I did. Make sure you flash your BIOS or update that before you install any well, not necessarily any, but if you do have to, if it doesn't actually support the next gen uh, CPUs, make sure you update that before you install it because I wasted so much time and so much energy um, that I could have saved in terms of this install. So learn for next time and let's get to the setup. So for this, I've already removed my GPU to make this a lot easier for me to reach my AIO. From here, you wanna make sure you unplug the cables that you have on there. And then you want to loosen these screws one at a time, making sure you're doing that in a diagonal to make sure there's no uneven pressure. When you take out your AIO or cooler, you may have a little bit more pressure going on. So if you do, just jiggle it a little bit. It should be pretty easy after that. From here, we're gonna want to clean up the thermal paste that's on here, both on the cooler and on the CPU. I'd recommend using a paper towel and some alcohol. Make sure you have at least 90% alcohol on this. Just be careful you're not getting any thermal paste on your other components, especially your motherboard. After you're done cleaning the CPU, you're gonna to wanna to move your pin to unlock the CPU. So then you can pull it out. Again, make sure not to touch any of the pins as that can damage the CPU itself. And here we have the boot of the Ryzen 5 5600X. Thankfully, AMD does a really nice job of putting an arrow on their CPU that you just need to match up with the arrow on the motherboard and it should just plop into place. And then from there, you can put the pin back into place to lock it in. Next comes the thermal paste. So there's so many different ways to actually apply thermal paste. Not necessarily one is better than the other. You just wanna make sure you have a nice even coating across the CPU. Now don't go roast me in the comments. I was just trying to make sure I had a nice even layer across the whole CPU. So that's why it's taking me a little while. <laughs> I 
and a little bit more just for good measure. Okay, so finally we can now put everything back into place. First by putting on the AIO. I like to route the power cable underneath it just to make it a lot cleaner looking. And just how we remove the screws for the AIO, we're gonna do it the same way. So we're gonna do that in a diagonal pattern to make sure there's no uneven pressure. And then just make sure you re-plug in all the cables that you need. And now let's hope she turns on. All right, let's hop into Cinebench and do a couple tests. Now, I don't wanna bore you guys too much. So this is the 2600, so this is my original CPU. I uh, quickly went through and just did the multi-core Cinebench test here. And as you guys can see here, I got a score of 6,068. Now let's take a look at the new CPU and see how it compares. All right, so this was also done on the multi-core test just to make a fair comparison. And these tests take about 10 minutes each to actually run, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of that. So I wanted to cut this down a lot. And as we can see, that's a score of 10,016. So that's a 4,000 jump from my old CPU. So pretty good jump in performance if I do say so myself. That was the installation of the new 5000 series CPU in my PC. As you can see guys, the performance definitely improved with the new CPU here. Um, let me know what you guys thought down below. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Um, also, if you have any sort of content that you want to see specifically, please let me know. As again, I'm trying to tailor this content the best that I can for you guys. Um, again, let me know down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, this is Chris from Techbeard.